Okay, so I'm piecemealing a bunch of different uh, kits that I got, just little parts left over uh, from previous builds. I have one half of a rig joint, the rear sprocket, and then I have this uh, pineapple sprocket mount kit. Um, unfortunately, I have a 24-inch rear wheel. I should be showing this on the other side, but basically the spokes uh, don't line up very good. Um, this is supposed to be for a 26-inch wheel. Um, so, I think what I'm going to end up doing is trying to make another one of these uh, rig joint pieces. Uh, maybe from like, uh, like maybe a rubber floor mat from a car or mud flap or something. I'll have to dig around the garage, see what I can find. And then I'll be using these backwards since it's basically the same thing as this, but I only have one of these. So... That's what we're going to try and see if we can piece it together and save some money from ordering another one. Alright, so I found this floor mat and it's pretty close to the thickness of this uh, rake joint. So I think if I double this up, I should be able to use it for the rake joint. Um, so I'm just going to try drill it with a hole saw. Hopefully that's enough to cut through the rubber. If not, I'll get some sort of a shears. But uh, yeah, let's give it a shot, see if it works. So it looks like I'm going to need a stronger drill. Alright, we're going to try this again. Got a hammer drill corded this time. Hopefully that'll make it through. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now that I have these two pieces cut out, I'm going to go ahead and cut this inner diameter with this smaller hole saw to match up to the old right joint. Alright, so I got all three of these rig joints clamped down. Now I'm just going to go ahead and drill the holes for the bolts. we should have three close to identical rig joints. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this rear sprocket on the wheel. And that is actually really close to center. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put the rig joint on this side. And then I did make two of these rag joints, but since this is so thick, I think I'm going to start with one and see how it goes. Oh, and I'm going to have to cut that with a scissors. The junkiest of kitty scissors. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, and then we'll get this lined up. Yep, 
Now I'll start it with one bolt here and then I'll switch it over to a close up so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right. All right, so I'm just going to start these by hand here and then I'll finish them off with the drill. And then what I usually do is I skip one and go every other until I get these uh, three pieces on the back. All right, one down, three to go. Okay, so now that I got those three pieces on, I'm gonna go ahead and do the three remaining ones I skipped. All right, that one's a bit short. Try this one here. I had to substitute two of these from my bolt, my uh, nut and bolt collection because I had used the other nuts and bolts for other projects throughout the years. So, like I said at the beginning of this series, this is just kind of like a kind of like a piecemeal project. Uh, we're just kind of making do with what we got instead of buying a whole kit. So two of my bolts are going to be a little long, but as long as they don't come in contact with anything on the inside of the hub, we should be just fine. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up these with a drill just because it's just a lot faster. Um, you can do them by hand, of course. Um, now, you notice it's a little bit out around, around the hub. Um, you want to keep that within about, well, as close to center as you can. Um, I'm just going to go around in a ring uh, like this so I don't miss any. Um, but when you really crank it down and torque them, you want to do that in a star pattern, uh, which I will be doing that before the first drive. But for now, going around in a circle should be just fine. There we go, that looks pretty straight to me. And there you go for that nice close up. You can see how well that, uh, that rubber floor mat actually worked as a rig joint. It's all nice and uh, compressed into the spokes there. Um, I might have to retrew the wheel because I did have some loose spokes because this vehicle, all this bike had been jumped a few times before. But overall, I'm really impressed with the uh, with how well that reg joint turned out with just uh, making do with what I had. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos of this e-bike build, um, go ahead and hit subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time new videos come out. And I will see you guys next time.